Kitchen Conversations. I am your host, Megan Dawson. I am here in the safety of my own kitchen, but I'm not alone. Joining us today is the team from Clean Juice West Frisco. We have <laughs> We're excited. We have Ashley and Sean Green and Jackie. It is a family affair there. Hi guys. Oh, we're so glad to be here. Thank you for inviting us to, uh, to be here to participate in this awesome opportunity to share some uh, information and interesting news about Clean Juice. Yes, awesome. Well, I'll tell you, and um, just so our viewers know, I am a huge Clean Juice fan. Um, I can often be seen pulling up front getting smoothies for myself, my kids. I love the juices. I love the little hot shot immunity boosters. I love it all. So it's really fun for me to talk to people who are doing things that I love. But I already know the Clean Juice story. I know you guys a bit. I want to give you a chance to tell your story. So tell us a little bit about both Clean Juice just in general, but also how you got involved with Clean Juice. So um, Sean and I have had, have not always lived a healthy lifestyle, but found that when we started to focus more on our health and our nutrition and fitness, we really saw like some really great benefits, not only for us, but for our kids and our overall family. So um, our vision had always been that we wanted to have a business together. And we ended up um, deciding that this the juicing was becoming a part of our life and it was something that we really enjoyed. And we ultimately felt like this was a really great opportunity for us to bring something that we were passionate about to the community. So then we kind of had the, um, the path of figuring out what that would look like. Yeah. And Sean uh, ended up finding clean juice before there was one in the Dallas market. We okay. got it online and um, I still remember the moment actually that he called me into the office and he was like, Ashley, you have to do this. Um, there's, this is perfect. This is everything that we're passionate about. And, um, all in one, and we had never even tasted. I was just going to ask, you did this without knowing what it tasted like, without having the product, you just knew. We yeah, just, just like the concept and the brand, like that's what originally got us, you know, so, so interested in it. It was the fact that we saw, you know, this is 100% USDA certified organic. Uh, the fact that it was based on, you know, their core values were based on uh, scripture. Uh -huh. So like, we saw that we're like, oh my gosh, like what a cool company um, and how bold they are in their faith and the fact that, that they're doing things that are certainly at a higher cost, right? To provide a 100% USDA certified product definitely costs the business more money, but it's like how many restaurants are out there, you know, really taking that time to provide a full organic menu and we don't, we don't see that. And so that was something that I was really passionate about and we are really passionate about because we buy organic food. We, we, we believe in that choice for our family. And so as we were going to invest into a concept, into a brand, we wanted it to reflect what we're passionate about. Um, and and so, that's where Jackie comes in. Yeah, and sorry, Jackie had to walk away because the phone was ringing and the orders coming in. So Jackie's our general manager, so she keeps everything moving here at the store. And uh, she's also my mom. And so to back up the story, as we're doing it, I'm telling you, this is a family affair at Clean. Yeah. And as we're doing all the research, um, we talked to Jackie uh, because Jackie and Sean's dad, Kevin, have a tremendous amount of restaurant experience. And we wanted to make sure that they were going to be on board with this and be a great support system for us. So um, obviously Jackie agreed, <laughs> and here we are today uh, at Clean Juice. I am lucky enough to have all of the ingredients for a smoothie that Ashley so wonderfully dropped off at my house. And I'm gonna make this, and then I'm gonna drink it while y'all are talking. But I want you to tell me what this is, because this is actually on the menu, something that people can order and take home, correct? Absolutely. So something that um, we started offering in response to COVID was a buy and blend option because we know some people still want to be able to have organic nutrition at home, but maybe don't want to come into the store and get curbside pickup every single day. So we have a buy and blend option. 
where you can choose from a um, from a portion of our smoothies, and we give you all the ingredients that you need to be able to make those smoothies at home, which is what you have. So today we're going to make these so basic ones together. Um, and since you have your pre-measured ingredients, all you'll need to do is dump your frozen ingredients in, and then include your almond milk. Okay. But uh, while you're doing that, I'm going to go ahead and get this one ready here at the store. Cheers. All right, I have to offload it though because I have kids. Look at that. Just grab it like oh, the kids are walking out. Of little munchkins that they are, they love your smoothies. This is delish. I got it. Seal of approval. But I want to talk a bit. Oh yeah, see we got a thumbs up. I want to talk a bit about <laughs> <We're kidding. laughs> the, the juicing because that's a little bit different than this, correct? And I know that we won't be able to get to see the cold press in action because it's gigantic. I yes. cannot believe it when you showed it to me. But I want to hear a little bit about the difference because for most of us, that doesn't mean much in terms of the difference, but I understand that there's a big one. So tell us about that. Yeah, um, you know, I'll share my own personal experience with juice. Um, I used to buy juices in the grocery store. Um, because I didn't really know any better and I wasn't really educated and I'm not saying there's anything wrong with them but as I became more educated about juices I learned about the different ways to make juice as well as the pasteurization process that extends shelf life and the impact that that can have on juice so um, like when I was talking about you know Sean's moment of pulling me into the office being so um, transformational for the way that we felt about this concept and opening in, in a juice and smoothie bar. Um, this was one of the reasons, is because we offer the fresh juice here, which Sean's gonna make in just a minute, um, but we also offer the cold press, which does actually keep far more nutrients intact in the juice because there's no heat being used in the process of creating it. And, and when you cold press, it really helps extend the shelf life. So uh, a centrifugal juicer, which is what I'm gonna use right now to make a fresh juice, Okay. It's best when you drink that within you know, 30 to 45 minutes. Otherwise, it starts to break down and lose a lot of nutritional value. And so by us also having a cold press option, it allows us to bottle, uh, label, and, and sell cold press juices to our, our customers as well, which will last you know, four or five days versus 30 to 45 minutes. Okay, so we could, I could potentially come into the store and grab a bottle and bring it home, and I'd have cold pressed juice that I can enjoy today, tomorrow. The yeah, we want to show you the cold pressed juice and, and kind of talk to you about that. So here's our cold pressed fridge. So everything that you see in here, we've actually made in the store using our cold presser. Okay. Um, I'll show you the cold presser here in a minute. But these are all of our different cold pressed juices. Um, the shelf life on these are you know four or five days. Um, and, and, you know, in addition to the cold pressed juices, we have uh, milks as well. So I'll start and just kind of walk you through uh, quickly what our different ones are. But we have a sweet green. Um, and again, every ingredient that goes into these is organic. And so we, we have a sweet green, which is really popular. Uh, it's cucumber, apple, kale, spinach, and mint. It's one of my favorite ones that when we are cold pressing it, the whole store smells like mint. I mean, it's really, really, it's, it's, it's nice. Um, my kid's favorite, and actually my favorite too, is, is orange. Um, this is my, this is my go-to in the morning. I love this. This is carrot, orange, pineapple, and turmeric. Uh, it's really, really tasty. The one, maybe I got that one. I think I love that one. I love that one too. And this is another favorite of a lot of people. This is green. Uh, it's kind of like a salad in a bottle. You know, it's, it's, it's really good. It's, it's not sweet at all. It's got a lot of your greens. It's uh, cucumber, celery, spinach, kale, lemon, and ginger. It's got a really great little ginger bite to it, um, but it's a fantastic juice. So I know you also have, and I have a really funny story about this, um, the little the little shots. Oh, yeah. Um, so I ordered, I think it was like two weeks ago, and... Jackie was so sweet. She brought my order out and she gave me a bunch of the shots and there were three purple and one orange. And I 
I don't like to just do, I don't like to stop and think about things. So I didn't read the label on the orange one and I drank it thinking it would taste like my favorite immunity juice. And I almost died because it was the hot shot. So. <laughs> oh yeah, so our hot shot is fire. Yeah, I would say right now, especially since we've been you know, locked down and everyone has a heightened awareness around their immune system and you know, the benefits of healthy eating is our immune booster has quickly become our number one shot, uh, selling shot, as well as elderberry. Uh, well, there were the other ones that were in my pack. And I mean, I just adored them. And honestly, I liked the hot shot. If I, I was just not prepared for it. I was not mentally and emotionally prepared to be the hot shot. But that, that's not on me. That's totally on me. So. Yeah, I recommend no kids having this one, okay? Yeah. It's super, like, it's super spicy. It's loaded with cayenne pepper. Um, it has got a lot of turmeric, which, you know, the benefits of turmeric are, are I mean, still being learned, right? I mean, turmeric. Turmeric is such a great anti-inflammatory, not only for your muscles, but for your gut health. And so there's so much benefits to turmeric. And, and we, we actually add a lot of turmeric in a lot of our foods. Yes. Well, just make sure you know what you're drinking. Read labels. Um, that's yeah, read your label before you, before you throw that shot back. <laughs> so, again, these were all made using a cold presser, which I'll, I'll introduce you to our cold presser. You know what? Let's go do that right now. I'll introduce you to our cold presser. Um, Seems like so, it's like a person that you need to be introduced to. Oh yeah, no, no, no. It's a per like we actually had um, we had a competition with our entire staff to name the cold presser, and we ended up naming her Pulp Friction. Oh, okay. So this is Pulp Friction. Meet Pulp Friction. So what we do is we take all of our produce, which you can see here, some of it down here. Um, you know, we get all organic produce. We clean it and we, we put it through the grinder. And the grinder will grind it up into our bags. Um, and then from there, we, we press it. It goes into our pan here, and the pan will go into our strainers, which we have on ice, our, our buckets. And we strain it, we take it out of here, and then we go ahead and we bottle it, and we label it all here in the store. I'm gonna make something called a glow on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab some spinach here, uh, I'm gonna grab some cow. Everyone likes cow, right? I mean, I do. I know three small children in my house right now, and my husband who'd say, "Yeah, no, I don't." <laughs> <laughs> All right. So here's what goes into this one. We got some spinach, some cow, some cucumber, some apple. This one is a very popular. This is called our glow one. And what I'm gonna do is I'm You'll see, I mean, all of this goes into one cup of juice. That's incredible. That's a large amount of produce in one juice. Yeah, so that's why, you know, that's why we're really passionate about it being organic is because, I mean, if you look at it, this is how much you're ingesting in your body in a really short period of time. And, you know, if it wasn't organic, that's a, potentially a lot of pesticides that you're right. ingesting. Um, yes. You can also substitute ingredients in our bread juice. So unlike the cold press, which is pre-made and the ingredients are preset, any of our fresh juices can be substituted uh, at any time and things can be added or removed from it. And that goes for all the menu items. Um, you know, obviously it's it's written the way that it is, but we are happy to add different things to your smoothie. Um, we have many add-ons. You can put chia seeds in, you can add camu camu, which has a tremendous amount of vitamin C. So we encourage everyone to look into that and the immune booster. Um, what are some of the other cool he's gonna share with me? Look at that. Okay, so before we go, you've shown us was it Pulp Friction? Is that her name? Yeah, Pulp Friction. Yeah, Pulp Friction. <laughs> Yes, we made smoothies, which I'm only a little bit bothered that my kids completely stole it right out of under my nose. <laughs> made juice. We went through all of our cold press options. I embarrassed myself with a story about the hot shot. Now, tell everybody where we can find you. So I have a specific way I order that's very easy on my phone. So tell us about that and tell us how you've kind of adapted because weren't open that long 
before the, the quarantine hit. So you've had to switch on a dime. Yeah, absolutely. Um, certainly we've had to shift gears a little bit. Um, the great news is that the Clean Juice app already had an app order function set in it. So we have been doing curbside pickup through our app. If you download the app, you get a $5 yeah. credit towards your first order. Plus you earn loyalty anytime you scan your app or place an app order. Yeah. So you can um, see the full menu, put everything in there, including specifications. If you do want to customize something, um, just pull up here, give us a call and we'll bring it right out to your car. Um, if you're not traveling out at all, the other option is to use delivery services. We do a tremendous amount of work with DoorDash, Uber Eats, Grubhub, and then also Postmates. So there's several different options. Um, and the, the last option is to simply come in and, and just take your order out of the store. Um, we're just not offering dining in at this time. I'm blown away by the way you care for the community um, on a lot of different levels by taking care of first responders, also taking care of all of our health. I'm really wanting to educate. I'm so grateful that you took this time to just spend a little bit with me um, and chat about clean juice, um, so welcome all the things. Um, I urge all of our followers, all of our viewers, please go visit Ashley and Sean and Jackie over at Clean Juice. I um, order, download the app. I have it. I showed you. Download the app and just support all of our local restaurants, y'all. These are the people that support us day day out we need some pta or giveaway so give them some love and just be kind be kind right now thank you all so much thank you Megan. thank you